Are you wondering if you can airbrush metallic paints? Here I paint a Necron Flayed one. Airbrushing metallic paint is a great way to paint lots of miniatures. One of the problems is that the paint is pretty thick when it comes straight from the pot. But you can airbrush any metallic paint. Here I show you how. Hi, welcome back to Tangible Day. I hope you all had a nice week. And if you haven't, I hope some peace finds you. Let's escape for a while painting this model. As you can see, I'm painting with a Badger Patriot 105 airbrush. It's my favorite workhorse airbrush. This is a McFarlane toy model, it's huge. It's exactly the kind of model you want to use an airbrush for. First step is to prime the model. I use Vallejo Surface Primer. Any color will work well. I love this primer because you can use it straight from the bottle, putting it straight into the airbrush paint cup. Spray the primer at 25 to 35 PSI. Adjust as necessary. One to two thin coats is all you need. All right, now let's thin the metallic paint for the airbrush. Sure, you can use airbrush ready metallic paints, but any acrylic metallic paint will work. Here I'm using Citadel Lead Belcher. It's pretty thick, so you want to thin it first. First add a bit of water to the paint cup. This lubricates the airbrush. Then add the metallic paint. This should be a one to one ratio. Stir it with an old paintbrush, be gentle. Then add another part of water to thin it out further. Thinning ratio is a two to one paint to water. Check the consistency of your thin paint. I always aim for a consistency of skim milk. You can see how it's transparent. And then you're ready for the airbrush. Let's do it. Load your thin metallic paint into the airbrush. You may need to adjust the air pressure for your particular airbrush setup. I'm generally spraying around 20 PSI. It may take up to four coats of paint. At this point, you're done with the metallic paints, but it looks a little bland, doesn't it? We can kick it up a notch. And here's how I do it. I'm gonna give the entire model a wash of ink. Black ink, Green Stuff World dipping ink is what I use. I thin the ink with water, one to one, and I load this into my airbrush. Spray at low pressure. Spray on the mixture liberally over the entire model. It's okay to be a little messy, and the paint can drip. Make sure you base coat the other non-metallic colors. Here I'm using an ivory white paint. I build up the layers in thin coats for best results, allowing each layer to dry before moving on to the next. It's pretty easy. If you haven't noticed yet, I work in stages where I'll apply a base and then shade or ink on top to increase the contrast. It makes everything look much better. I also have a lot of fun applying washes because you can see the results right away. Now of course I want to make everything look more realistic in this grimdark 40k universe. Here you can easily do that by adding a rust colored effect using your airbrush. How do you know where to put the rust color? Well use your imagination or a reference image. That's how I do it. Make sure you spray randomly and not too evenly everywhere. And there you go. Now remember that contrast does all the work. Color just takes all the credit for the 3D pop. Edge highlighting is a simple way to increase the contrast over your model, and here I did it. Looks great! Now remember, the eyes are the windows to the soul, even for the soulless. A Necron isn't just a hunk of metal. Let's turn the lights on. To paint the glowing eyes, I use two green colors, a dark and a light green. Starting with the light green, I map out where the light should go, remembering that the center of the eye is where the light source originates. Use layers to build up the color around where the light is. Not to be perfect, you can blend it all back down later. Here I'm using the dark green with an airbrush, super thinned out, spraying at really low air pressure. Then paint the catch lights using the bright green. Focus most of that light green on the source of the light at the center of the eyeballs. Glaze with the airbrush to blend it all in. You can feather using a regular brush too. Make sure to boost the highlights at the light source, increasing that brightness around the eyes and within the eyeball itself. Use your imagination and ask yourself where the light would hit if it originated from the eyeballs. Bring the highlights up to white, but use it sparingly at the light source and along the edges around the eye sockets, just a little bit. And then, you're done. This entire model took me about an hour to paint. What do you think? And there you have it, airbrushing metallic paints. Check out the description below for more details about how I painted this model and the materials I used. If you like this video, let me know with a like and subscribe. Oh hey, leave a comment too, I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.